Hi there, my name is Ian Brennan and welcome to Magician's Advice Recommends. Now today's video is a slightly different one because I couldn't give you the advice I needed to give for this video to happen and here's what I mean. I've had a lot of requests recently for everyday carry magic wallets. What's the magic wallet that you carry with you everywhere you go that you can do magic tricks with? And it's a great question. What is the wallet I carry with me everywhere and I can do tricks with? But the problem is I can't answer that. And the reason I can't answer that, well, at least I can't answer it honestly, is I don't carry a magic wallet with me. I only carry a magic wallet with me when I'm performing for a gig. My normal everyday wallet is this little thing here. It's quite snazzy, the cards pop up, you can get a few cards in there, you can get a couple of bills, you know, paper money inside, some business cards in, but it doesn't do any magic, it's just a minimalist wallet, because I like things like that. So I thought, how on earth am I gonna answer this question for you? Um, I thought I could make something up, that wouldn't really be our style, we need to give you honest advice. And then I realized that actually, the community of magicians here on YouTube is huge, and there's loads of other people that have got great YouTube channels, they do amazing YouTube videos, and they will be able to give you fantastic advice as well. So what we did is we reached out to some of our network, we sent some messages out to friends out here that are making magic YouTube videos, and we asked them for their thoughts and their opinion. So I thought since I don't have one, I can't give you my advice, let's have a look at theirs. Have a look at these recommendations just for you, sent in a little collaboration video we've done here. If you don't recognize any of the people on this video, then go and check them out. After this video, click the links in the description, go and check out their channels. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell on their channels as well, and just check out the wealth of content they've done. Sometimes we review the same things, sometimes we talk about different things, but the people on here, I really, really respect their views, so you should too. Thanks very much. Let's go and have a look. Hi, my name's Tony Dawson from The Magician's Advice, and this is my magic everyday carry wallet. What is it? It's the Stealth Assassin Wallet by Peter Nardi and Alakazam. This is a phenomenal wallet. It's beautifully made, it looks completely innocent. You can carry cash, cards, business cards, and you've just in the wallet alone, you've got an act. However, carry this along with a phone, turn a watch and a pack of cards. You've got phenomenal magic without even thinking about it. Now I'm gonna cheat a little here while I've got the two minutes. Sometimes I do carry more than one wallet. Why? Well, this is the wallet I pick up without even thinking about it. This is what I'm, I move around with all the time. However, if I'm going out during the day or the evening, I'm not wearing a jacket, then I will more than likely pick up the JOL packet trick wallet. This goes in my other back pocket, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It just carries packet tricks, refill cards, that sort of stuff. I do change it around, however, stand-up Monty's always in there, unless I go out and I've got a jacket uh, and it will go in my top pocket. But that's something else I pick up. If I give it a second thought, it will go in my second pocket and I've got loads to do. If I'm going out and I'm wearing a jacket, it's the JOL Large Plus Wallet. This is probably one of the favorites for magicians. Obviously it's too big to carry without a jacket, card to wallet, all that sort of stuff. But I know this is what it was about. Stealth Assassin is my number one everyday carry wallet. As somebody who actually performs the magic that I review, my favorite everyday carry wallet, hands down, is D. Christopher's Razor Wallet. You're not gonna find a more portable, lightweight, magician-type wallet where you can carry a credit card for all your purchases and yet still have a whole act ready to go. If you're not familiar with it, come check out my review on Unbiased Magic Reviews. In fact, you should check out my top five Razor Wallet effects review where I show you those five effects that I carry in the Razor Wallet every day, ready to go, and we're not even talking about using its main feature as a peak to do more traditional mentalism type effects. If I'm gonna go anywhere where I know I'm gonna perform card magic and I wanna do card to wallet, then my favorite everyday carry in that circumstance, hands down, is Tony Miller's Speedloader series, either his Real Man Speedloader wallet or his Speedloader Plus. 
you just can't beat the technology. And the reason is like I told you guys, is that I use this stuff, I've road tested it all. This is the most reliable card to wallet, especially you wanna do card to front pocket, you wanna do card to wallet in your back pocket, you can't beat this technology. People will tell you to check out the Infinity Wallet by Alakazam. Well, I own it. I've road tested it extensively and it doesn't compete. The Infinity Wallet is just a lot bulkier, it's a lot bigger, and it's a lot harder to use. It does come with the slide. Um, it uses the same kind of technology as the Steve Drawn Wallet. The problem is that this in your pocket, it's very difficult to get the card in there and push the slide back in. It's not half as reliable as Tony Miller's wallet. Don't take my word for it though. Come watch my review. Come watch me demo the wallet. When you see a card end up clipped in a bill, in a rubber banded wallet, I mean, that just speaks for itself. You're gonna also watch me do a mentalism type effect with this wallet as well. So if you're not familiar with my channel, come check out Unbiased Magic Reviews, and these are definitely my favorite everyday carry wallets. So right, this is, well, there's a bit of story here. I've had this ongoing saga. I lost my wallet yesterday, which my, was my everyday wallet that I carry around, and then realized it was in the car after looking for it all day, and then realized my car wasn't here in my office and I haven't got it. But it looks the same as that, and this is kind of what I carry around usually, and the other one. So this is my Rebel wallet. I also have a Peak Note wallet, wallet, wallet uh, which is made by Gerard Kearney as well, Secret Tannery. Now the reason I like these is because they look like wallets. And I don't think, I think if you're performing magic, I think it's fine to have wallets that look a bit big and stuff, because if you're performing, you're in character, you've got a suit on, it might fit uh, better, especially the big ones, they look fine on stage. But I think that if I'm gonna do something uh, on the fly, which I do every now and then, someone asks me to do something, I'd rather do something using something like this. So I'll have this, I might do a vanishing ring uh, to that, and that's an envelope wallet. So the envelope will be in there. And you can load that pretty easy. Uh, the Peak wallet is the same, but it's a Peak, and it hasn't got a load. And I like that because it just feels different from, from that kind of normal trick, and it's it really, really fries people. It's a weird thing with Peaking uh, from a wallet. You think it wouldn't work if you do it, but it's, it just it's just great uh, but they're the two wallets i have and the two wallets i walk around with in my normal life that's why they look a bit knackered they are, they, i use them as my wallets i think people sometimes keep them a little bit too nice and it's like they always look, look new um to be honest my favorite load in the world is probably jol uh, because both of these use feeds most of the wallets use feeds now which is fine when you're performing but I think I like the JOL because you can just go in without a feed, the bigger ones, but they're bigger and they're bulkier and they, to me, look a bit less uh, natural. But that's my pick. That's what I've been using for a couple of years since I started this review show, the Gerard Kearney Secret Tannery uh, Peak Wallet and Rebel Wallet. So there we go. Those are our wallet recommendations for you. We've got Real Magic Reviews. We've got Unbiased Magic. We've got Tony Dawson. Check them out. Check the links in the description below and subscribe and follow them as well. They've got a whole wealth of content out there waiting for you. I love their content. I think you will as well. Just before we wrap up for today, make sure you hit our bell icon and our subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Share this video with your friends and make a comment below. Which of those wallets do you like? What do you think? Maybe there's one on there you haven't heard of before. Thanks for your time. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.